Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender book 3 episode number 11 and 12. Alright, the previous two episodes, ah, the first uh, episode number 9, it was one of the <laughs> funniest episode. Um, we see how Aang was freaking out, uh, thinking about how he has to defeat the Fire Lord and the pressure was kind of coming to him. He had no time left. He was like, yeah, I need to prepare. I need to not sleep. I need to get ready. I need to train. And <laughs> he was so freaking out that, you know, like weird stuff were happening. He was seeing hallucinations, seeing Momo and <laughs> Appa kind of standing up, fighting with each other. It was, it was a mess. And I loved the whole chaos, in, like, you know, the whole chaotic situation. It was definitely one of the funniest episode not one of the funniest it is the funniest episode up until now you know episode number nine i just loved it so much like i think i laughed this much probably in the cactus episode you know the cactus juice episode <laughs> but saka was completely drunk <laughs> my god and you know like yeah that was funny and that was episode number nine episode 10 we get into the invasion uh, the invasion starts but weird stuff is happening there's no one inside so ang has uh, gotten into uh, to the inner portion there's nowhere no one inside so i'm guessing they have probably shifted somewhere because they knew that something like this was going to happen because of the eclipse and you know they had taken precautions for that that was in ang's portion uh, in the Fire Nation portion, Zuko has uh, decided to leave, I think. And I'm not sure what he's going to do after this. We'll see. And Ayo is also planning something. So, yeah, let's see what happens. I think this episode will probably answer all of the questions. What the hell is happening? So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 11 of After the Last Airbender, book 3. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay, it'll start from that because this was like a two part episode, I think. Yeah, it was together. Okay. Like there are soldiers here, we can see that, so why is the inner place empty palace empty i'm guessing these are all distractions or something yeah katara healed him yeah i don't know yeah there's no one inside <laughs> no. Yep. This is a distraction. My god, they played us. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe we have a chance still. Okay. Yeah. Ten minutes. How? Ah. Uh, I think you need to take a chance. Yeah. I don't know. True. Yang will go. All right, ten minutes. Let's go, Toff. Oh. Oh. Okay. Some, yeah, compartment. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. 
<laughs> okay, earth bending. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> Earth bending. Or maybe not. <laughs> well, this can this also works, I guess. Damn, it must be hot in there. Like. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Metal bending. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. My God, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Come on, Boulder and I don't remember his name. Hippo, Hippo wasn't, yeah, yeah I think it was Hippo. Oh boy. Yeah, these are all planned. Okay. Oh lord. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow! Is he lying? It better not be a lie. It better not be a lie. I think it's a lie. Is he like luring them into a trap or something? I don't think the file art is in there. I think that guy lied. Oh, never mind. Azula's there. <laughs> the faces. Oh my god. Oh, so Zuko's going to face the Fire Lord. Oh, this is interesting. This. <laughs> They're all ready for Aang, and in comes Zuko. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Eclipse glasses. Oh yeah, you should not look at the eclipse directly. You go blind or something, I think. There's, there's like a saying. I forgot. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, he's saying everything. Because she's cunning. <laughs> Great. Oh. Yeah. Shut up. No. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, I think this is a trap, so Yeah, she's a lot. My God. Yes. Oh. Huh. 
how was he able to do that? What the? Oh, okay. Souvenirs. Okay. Maybe this would be a problem. Oh yeah, she's using Earthbenders because it's an eclipse. Oh my god, she's so intelligent. Oh, that's why you're the Earthbenders. My god. What the? What? Yeah. <laughs> Love me. Ah. Uh, yeah. Guess what? I think it's better to learn nothing from you at least. Look at Azula. Yeah. He won't listen. Look at him. Just look at him. <laughs> well, what do you do now? Banish your son again? Well, good. That's what he wants. <laughs> Damn. What the... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Hang. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> ah, nice. Nice. Yeah, it's the Eclipse. Azula can't do much now. Oh boy. Damn. Oh. Wow. Oh! Come on, just get her or something. I, I don't know. It was too quick, I guess, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god, she's luring them somewhere. I don't like this. <laughs> okay, let's go, yeah. Yeah, she's luring. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Calm down. Yeah. Well, Saka's, yeah, Saka's intelligent. <laughs> oh no! Stop! Oh my god. Oh, Saka! <sighs> nice. I 
I'm going to defeat you. Yes. Yeah, and how's the clips? Shut up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, Azula and the dad. Wow, same. Both of them. Like, Azula's talking about Suki. This guy's talking about the mom. Wow. What? Azu oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where is she? She's still alive? Yeah. Oh no, the sun is coming out. Oh! No! Come on! Nice! Yes! Come on! Yes! Oh my god, I wanted to look at that. Oh, yeah, nice, he's gone. He, he did not stay. Oh boy. <laughs> She's telling them now. It's okay, like, even though, like, you know, they won't be able to do anything, like, there was no time. Yeah. Oh. No! Oh my god, no, you're not ready. No! Hmm. Yeah. And let's get out of here. Ah. Yes. Oh, oh my god, you remember from season 2 or was it season 1? They found the... Yeah. What the hell is that? <gasps> okay, let's run. I'll fly. What the hell are those? Flying ships? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Like, it won't, it will be easy to take down the uh, balloons, but what about the ships? Like, how, what do you even do with that? Oh, wow, that was cool. Nice. <coughs> yeah, these ships will be... Yeah.
Okay. Okay, Zuko's here. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Uncle is out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> this guy was trash talking Iro all the time and then <laughs> he gets beaten up by Iro. <laughs> Yeah. Will that even help? That's a little... Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh! Oh! Beach. Oh no! The submarine! What? But what? Oh no. Oh no! <coughs> oh my god, this is bad. Ah! Uh. Oh no! Oh no. God, they completely. Ah. <coughs> Wait, his name is Pip Squid? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Come on. Okay. Oh boy, this was a full trap. Oh! Oh n Oh, that's Zuko, thank god. I was like, oh my god, someone's following them. <clears throat> wow, that was okay. <coughs> <coughs> okay, damn, that was uh, episode 11. Okay, so now obviously this was kind of expected. I expected this something like this happening, but I did not expect this to go this one sided. I thought it would probably be something like, yeah, they tricked them and they were somewhere else completely. I did not realize that they were just here. So it would have been a very, like, you know, as soon as they realized that the time is like, you know, we won't get enough time to complete this. They should have just like, you know, went away, turned away because <clears throat> that would have been the best decision. Unfortunately, they did not know that this was a full on trap and it was actually like, you know, Azula who laid this trap. So, like, 
yeah that's why they they decided to just go and find the uh, uh, fire lord unfortunately yeah azula completely tricked them <clears throat> so now here's one thing um i thought that you know ex the eclipse will make it as if they won't be able to use their fire bending that much they will be able to use them but it won't be that much uh so i thought that their like you know their uh proficiency in fire bending would like reduce like 60 to 70 percent but they became completely unable to use fire bending i was not expecting that i was not expecting that they would be unable to do anything so here's the thing um we actually had a very high chance of defeating everyone if not for azula if azula like you know like did not make that trap we probably would have been able to get the fire lord because as we see when zuko gets in and he challenges the fire lord the fire lord is like uh like yeah you will be able to defeat me because you don't like you know i don't have my fire bending power and you have your swords so this is what it makes me think i think that probably the fire <coughs> uh the fire lord is unable to use hand-to-hand -hand martial arts that much because why would he say that otherwise you know because uh zuko knows knows very well to use his swords so i guess zuko would have been able to actually defeat him if he actually fought him at that moment when he did not have his fire ending that probably means that he is not that much proficient <clears throat> with anything other than fire ending like fire ending is like his only thing or something i'm not sure but that really means that yeah we would have been easily able to defeat him if not for azula but <clears throat> yeah unfortunately azula got us and like <coughs> the problem here was we didn't have much time it was like eight minutes or something they said first of all we had to go through like a weird section of tunnels like there was like lava and stuff that took out a few minutes of time and then when they were able to get to the the play the room um azula brought uh the dailies who are earthbenders and that was another intelligent uh planning on azula's part because they are earthbenders nothing won't be the uh, anything like you know it won't be a problem for them to do their thing during the eclipse and <clears throat> then what she does is during the heat of battle she kind of starts luring them away like the plan was made in such a masterful manner like they're in the heat of battle so if they see that azula is running away obviously like what will you do if you see some enemy running away from you in the middle of a battle you, you'll start following them won't you <clears throat> that's what they did wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, <clears throat> and didn't even think about uh like what his her actual intention is and <clears throat> by the time they were like almost running out of time Saka realized that what the hell this is just a trap she's basically trying to waste our time you know like <coughs> my god during the heat of battle he wasn't able to think properly and by the time she he realized that it's almost time and he stopped everyone <coughs> it was I'm guessing that there's like four minutes or something like that left and and when she tries to go back, Azula's like, huh, I've got Suki. Like, my god, the manipulation. This girl and, 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 and the dad as well. Like, obviously Saka's going to freak out at that. Saka freaked out and just, like, you know, captured her and everything and tried to make her talk. But, yeah. The, then the time went out and it was over. And then Azula's like, ha, dad's over there. Go if you can. Like, <laughs> oh my God. And like, not only that, that was like this part. We see how similar the dad is to Azula. And that really shows that Azula has been brought up by her dad. Like it was her dad completely who, who made the biggest impression on her. Like the dad also plays the same trick to Zuko. And she, he's like, oh, I know where your mom is. You know, you want to know where your mom is? <clears throat> and like we get a few information here and one thing we know like get to know from this episode is the mom is alive like that's one thing that i was thinking i was thinking like did they kill her off or something 
But no, she's still alive, I think. Like, the Fire Lord said that, hope, like, most probably, like, something like that he said. Oh, he said maybe, when uh, Zuko asked that, so that means he's still alive? He's like, maybe. That means, so, he, he basically banished her and he doesn't even know where the mom is now. That's the meaning, basically. And, <clears throat> like, interesting thing here. So, it was actually the mom who planned and, like, you know, like, did, like, you know, brought the uh, Azulon down. I think that's what the dad said. Yeah, he said that the, it was the mom's plan to do that. Because otherwise, Zuko would be killed. And, like, like now that I'm seeing everything, I feel as if, like, the, the dad is, <laughs> I don't know, I, I might be... I might be completely wrong, but like, like now I'm seeing everything and I'm feeling as if like um, Ozai, Ozai is nothing much. Like, like all this time I knew, knew that Azulon was brought down by Ozai, but now we are hearing that it was not completely Ozai. It was like, you know, like uh, it's, it was a mom who made the plan and like Ozai is strong. But here again, we see they're fighting. Zuko and <clears throat> Ozai fought. And Zuko basically countered that and just, like, you know, like, in a way, uh, <clears throat> kind of knocked him out. Ozai. And by that time, by in that confusion, he, he ran away. So, <laughs> I, feel as, I feel as if Azula is better than Ozai. I don't know why. <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know man like I, I really feel that like looking at everything in this way I feel as if Ozai is really not that much of a danger the, the main problem is not Ozai the main problem is his army I think that's the main thing like <clears throat> Ozai's army the five and all the other five benders Azula <coughs> excuse me I'm I, I caught a cold, so that's why I'm like, you know. So, yeah, as I was saying, uh, Azula, uh, the other fire uh, benders, they are the biggest problem here. It's not Ozai. Like, Ozai's army is the problem here. Like, I don't know, I might be completely wrong. Maybe we'll see in the later episodes how strong Ozai is. But seeing how Zuko was basically able to counter him and defeat him like that, I think that Iroh would be able to take him down. Wouldn't he? Like, Zuko's obviously not as proficient as Iroh. So, I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, I think Zuko probably took him off guard. That's probably it. Like, probably Ozai was not expecting Zuko to counteract like that, you know, like counterattack like that. And it probably surprised, took him by surprise and he got knocked out. But, yeah, the pain, like, I'm, I'm realizing this. The biggest problem here is not Ozai. The biggest problem here is his army, the Fire Nation in a collective, you know, <clears throat> sense. That's the biggest problem. And Ozai is like, Ozai is like the king, you know, in the chess. Like, he's not that strong, I guess. Like, I, I, I'm saying, I'm every, everything is guesswork, you know. Like, as I said, like, who knows, maybe in the future episode, he'll become very strong and we'll see how actually strong he is. We'll probably see that in the future episode. But for the, from this episode, I feel as if Ozai is more like the king of the chess, you know. Like, he's the king, he's the main one. But... You know, he's not that much strong. He can fight, he can, he's good, but not that much. But the main problem is the army. The main problem is the army. And uh, unfortunately, he lacks a queen. <laughs> queen, who is the strongest, you know, unit of, in a chess batch. Um, he lacks that. But still, he has all the other, uh, like, you know, characters, all the armies. Like, you know, like, he has Azula, um, like, the other firebenders, and all the other people that he has so it's basically like if you get ozai everything will end like if you get the king if you checkmate in a chess match everything's over like you know even if you even if the army is left everything is over if you checkmate so i think it's basically something like that like if you get ozai it'll be the end so that's what you need to do and <clears throat> i don't know like what can i say like i feel as if azula is a lot better than ozai like as a villain like <clears throat> i don't know like the first thing that 
Ozai does uh, when he meets Zuko, he's like he's he tells his um, army to just go away. He's like, yeah, you you guys leave. Like first of all, he did not expect Zuko to betray him like that. He was genuinely surprised, which I also was surprised because I thought that Ozai would probably feel something is wrong. You know, so he I thought he would probably take more precautions against Zuko, but he did not, which kind of shows that. Like, you know, he is not as calculating as Azula, you know, <clears throat> then the thing that he does is like he tells the guards to go away, which is a major uh, bad decision. If Zuko actually decided to kill him, he could have just killed him at that moment <clears throat> when he did not have his fire bending power. So that and then he gets defeated by Zuko and Zuko, could, even if Zuko takes him off guard, he still got defeated in a way like all these things. I don't know. I feel as if Azula could have done better in this situation. He could have probably like, you know, like if, if, if Ozai was not sitting there, if Azula was sitting there and Zuko confronted Azula, I think Azula could have probably completely turned the whole thing around and just defeated, <coughs> like, you know, <coughs> Zuko in a very bad way. And like, she's capable of that. And yeah, like, this is what it is, I think. Like, you know, like, Azula probably got both the dad and the moms. Like, you know, like, like we can see from this episode, we know that the mom is very intelligent. Otherwise, how would she be able to take down Azula? Like, he's the fire lord. He was the fire lord. So that probably, like, you know, it kind of shows us how Azula probably got both their genes. You know, like, she's intelligent like her mom, I think. And the, like, <laughs> nasty like her dad. <laughs> my god oh and i don't know what and, and probably zuko got everything from his uncle and his mom so yeah anyways like you know the so this like you know this thing was very like well done i i think like basically the the fire lord was able to get out of this situation on skate because of azula he he should probably like you know i don't know like <laughs> give azula some gifts or something like like yeah azula basically saved his life in a way like i'm sure this whole plan was azula's plan like the way they made this plan is like <laughs> you get into the fire like you know in, inside the palace and you get lured in into azula and azula kind of wastes your time uses some earthbenders to do the job for her and kind of wastes the time and if something happens you know he she would try to like you know like you know i don't know like blackmail the other person some way just like how he blackmailed um <clears throat> saka by saying that oh wonder where suki is so and then like the time will be gone and then he'll, she'll just go away like that's I'm, I'm sure that's azula's plan i doubt that was ozai's plan so yeah god and then like in the end we have to get out of here Otherwise, we won't be able to do anything. And that's why the adults decided to stay and let the young ones go, like, you know, go away. And hopefully, like, Aang, I'm sure Aang will be able to, I don't know what he's going to do now. Like, oh, wait, uh, Zuko said that he's going to join the Avatar. Oh, so I think uh, Aang is going to learn Firebending from Zuko. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen now. Most probably. Yeah, I was thinking like, who is he going to learn firebending from? So yeah, that's what's going to happen because we see that Zuko is following them. So in the Western Air Temple, I'm sure Zuko is going to like, you know, like go and try to meet them. And if he's like, I'm sure everyone will object to him joining. But uh, if he somehow in, in any way possible, if he joins them, I think Aang is going to learn firebending from Zuko after that. So now I wonder one thing: what's going to happen to that guy, that the um, the tattoo guy, not the guy who was, you know, using the, the the beam from the forehead. Like he's like he was uh, hired by Zuko. So is he going to go back to the Fire Nation, or will he, or will he like help Zuko? Now, but now Zuko is with, uh, with Aang, so he'll not try to defeat Aang, but I don't know, we'll see. 
you know like i still don't know what his priorities are is his priority like you know, that guys is his priority the fire nation or is his priority zuko we'll get to know that so yeah that was it and i do wonder where is suki like like it, it really kind of bothered me from a lot of long amount of time but i i kind of like you know it kind of slipped my mind all the time that after that episode where the appa's episode um what even happened to them like are they like prisoners somewhere like i don't think like uh, azula will just let them go like that so who knows maybe i don't know like the way azula talked it kind of makes us like you know like it, it kind of confirms that she knows where suki is but yeah we'll see so yeah that was it and iroh's also out so damn this is going to be good if iroh somehow joins with uh, zuko and zuko joins with uh, ang like yeah that'll be great like our, our power will increase by a lot and and Ang can also learn firebending and if he somehow is able to uh like not somehow i'm sure he will be able to like you know learn firebending <clears throat> all the four uh, elements will he'll be able to learn all of them and i'm sure like you know the avatar's full power will probably activate when all the fire uh, fire uh, all the four elements he has proper knowledge about all of them you know like the harmony that the the, the 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 relationship between the four elements the way that i taught them like that thing so i'm sure something will happen probably he'll get a major power boost and so we'll see so yeah that's that was this episode this is episode 11 yeah 11 so let's get started with the next one <coughs> episode number uh okay uh yeah episode number 12 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started so here's a countdown three two one go <clears throat> this is like um ang's second loss isn't it like the first loss was uh in Ba Sing Se, when they had to retreat, and this time as well. <clears throat> All right, let's see what happens this episode. Maybe, maybe Zuko will join. Let's see. Okay, let's take this out in case there's any spoilers. <clears throat> okay, damn. Right. the western air temple are we here i think so <laughs> nah the previous one are both Uh. <laughs> oh my god oh um <laughs> every thing that i said wait what where oh underneath oh it's Oh, upside down. My God, look at this. Wait, how? 
How are you supposed to? Oh, wait, what? That's Zuko, isn't it? He got here before them. What? Hmm. Wait, they were here before? Yeah. Oh, this is after he got injured. Weak, oh my god. How times have changed. Oh, they're here. I wonder where Iroh is. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that Duke. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, I think that's the best one. But yeah, they don't know that Zuko's coming. Jong Jong. <laughs> Come on, Ang. Uh, but uh, you know what? Like, I guess this is like a nostalgic place for him. Well, guess what? Yeah. What? Oh, is he like practicing? <laughs> He's getting ready for an interview. Uh, no, that's not a good way to. What is that? A frog? A turtle frog? Ah! Um. Ah, uh, T. <laughs> Give them a cup of tea. <laughs> oh no, stop, don't. <laughs> yeah, that's correct, accurate. No, that's like, I completely accurate. Yeah, so interesting, like you know, everything's like upside down. And <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, there's a pie show table here as well. 
Oh, there he is. Your firebending teacher. <laughs> oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> okay, calm down. Eh, what the? Why? <laughs> well, Toph can, Toph can see, like, you know, know that if he's lying or not. So, hope that will help. Oh no, Katara will be... Come on, uh, Toph, use your... Um, what? Yeah, that's one good thing. Oh yeah, oh, that's why Appa is licking him. I realize that now. Um. Oh no. Combustion man. Uh Come on, Toph can detect whether he's telling a lie. Oh no. But you need fire. Oh. Okay, calm down, Zuko. That's not. Oh my god. Come on, you don't have much time, like, you do need a five ending teacher, so... <laughs> no, that, that would have been a lie. He's not. Yeah, and I don't blame them because, you know, like, in the prison, like, he took a complete 180. Yeah, and Aang almost got killed. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, but still, that was true. Oh my god, Saka! <laughs> yeah, true. True, like Azula. <laughs> oh my god.
Yeah, we don't have much time. Exactly. True. Exactly. Like, calm down. That's... Ah. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's a... Damn. Um, who the hell? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> okay! <laughs> um, how can you help her? Oh! Damn. It's <laughs> so bad at me. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you had a crazy sister with you all this time, so you had to be a little bit alert, you know, like who knows? She could have tried to kill you in your sleep. Hmm. Come on, Saka. Hmm. Oh, oh, there she is, I think. <coughs> um, yeah, no need to. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Don't like, okay. Oh my god. Okay, Saka. Oh my god. Yeah, crafty. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Yo! Um, contract is over. Go back home. Oh my god. They're going to suspect Zuko even more now. Great. Oh! 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 Oh no, they'll suspect Zuko. I'm sure of it. Okay. What? Oh, he has like a personal vendetta on them now. Because. Oh, damn. I'll pay you double. No, he has a personal vendetta now. That's why. Oh, damn, he's attack. Oh! Dude, calm down. What the hell? Okay. Wow. Damn. Damn, look at... Ang. 
Uf. Oh. I thought this guy would join us, but never mind. Wow. Okay, stop destroying the place. My God. Ah, oh, these people. Oh, the boomerang, yeah. Ooh. The, the, the forehead. The forehead. Nice! The forehead! Good! Okay, he's stunned now. now Let's let's go. He's stunned now. He got his forehead. So, come on. This this is the time. But yeah, he doesn't. They doesn't. Okay, there you go. There you go. It's happening again. Oh, he's blowing himself up. Oh my god, he blew himself up. Oh, he just blew himself up. Oh my god. Damn, that's. That's a, one of the biggest weakness, like... What happened to him? Did he, like, fall? What the hell? Where did he go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Hmm. I think talk will be okay, but I, I, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about Katara. <laughs> Saka will also probably accept. But Katara is... Uh... Ah, Katara! Okay, and that's good. Hmm. <laughs> but it'll take a little bit of time, you know? Saka? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Ah. <sighs> yeah. 
Ja. You understood the message now. Oh. True. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it'll take time. It'll take time. Two or three episodes. <laughs> okay, I would I would have probably liked to say five to ten episodes, but <laughs> after five to ten episodes, this the series will end. Like this is the twelfth episode, so as I said, it'll take a little bit of time for them to warm up to him, which is probably maximum three. Three episodes three or four maximum four episodes by the 16th episode i'm sure they'll be all good friends hopefully i think so let's wait for it all right okay that was a good episode there you go we have zuko with us now this is the 12th episode damn like <laughs> zuko, zuko actually needed um how many 50 <laughs> 52 episodes to realize what the hell was wrong and as they as they say you know better late than never you know so <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's good that Zuko is with us now so yeah we have a five ending teacher and everything will go well hopefully and I'm sure I will also join I think so because Zuko's here I think I will probably come who knows we'll see we'll see so okay so this episode here we get to the western air temple and <clears throat> zuko remembers stuff that i had told him now uh, uh previously and this really shows how you know like what can i say like how time has changed like he was at this place previously trying to catch the avatar thinking about i'll catch the avatar and look at him now he is here <laughs> helping the avatar now so yeah destiny is a funny thing you know as iro said okay so uh here we okay we see <laughs> zuko struggling <laughs> zuko struggling to say something and like obviously like we see this we saw this before in in that beach episode you know how awkward azula zuko and the whole fire like you know uh like all of them like my uh tairi all of them were how awkward they were and how like you know like they had their own problems and how they're not really accustomed to interacting with people and having friends like everyone's like at each other's <laughs> in a way like you know everyone's like competing all the time so they really don't know how to actually sit down and talk like you know like normal stuff not talk about how to defeat this person how to like you know capture this place like not stuff like that just sit down and talk with your friends none of them knows that and none of them knows how to apologize so <laughs> zuko here we see his um attempt to apologize unfortunately it was not good the first time where where he's like yeah like i sent this assassin to you by the way so sorry about that and they're like what the hell that was also you and so here's the thing um a lot of people like, i don't know like i'm sure a lot of people will actually uh like, you know what can i say like we're seeing this from ang's perspective ang and their perspective like we are seeing this from every, each and every character's perspective so we know what actually happened you know all this time we know zuko's story we know ang's story we know katara's story so we we have the full picture here unfortunately ang and his crew doesn't have that they are seeing everything from their perspective they don't know what zuko went through so seeing like you know like 
and like Katara kind of like you know be a little bit too harsh on Zuko is not that surprising because according to Katara what actually happened is she was like you know in the prison where Zuko told him her about his mom and how he suffered and everything and Katara felt sorry for him Katara even said that I will help you uh, with your scar I can heal it and <clears throat> after that how he changed completely 180 and you know like how he attacked Aang and how Azula ended up almost killing Aang like that's the thing that Katara went through at that time like just imagine how she felt about like you know like like trusting someone and then seeing suddenly like that person completely go 180 like he betrayed her trust at that moment and in a very bad way like because of that Aang almost died and we know how Aang like you know how much Aang means to Katara so obviously Katara won't be happy about this you know like even though like even though like everyone is you know somewhat accepting of Zuko Katara won't be able to do that because he had already betrayed his, her trust once so it doesn't actually you can, you know like it doesn't actually make me feel surprised seeing Katara act so extra um you know uh, tough and so extra um you know suspicious about Zuko like it's it's completely normal and as I said like it'll take a lot of time and a lot of time especially to gain back Katara's trust because like when in the end when they were like when Aang was asking them like so I want my friend's opinion first and Katara was the last one he she he asked Katara really did actually accept Zuko because of Aang because Aang is telling and because she realizes that Aang really does need a five ending teacher so yeah like I'm sure like everyone will kind of warm up to him but it'll probably take a little bit more time for like you know Katara to also become his friend and Katara to trust for Katara to trust him so yeah that's something I guess <clears throat> but yeah everything will be okay I'm, I'm sure everything will be fine because you know Zuko is a good person in the end you know as we as we as we see as we know ourselves that there is good in Zuko so everything will be fine hopefully now okay so this episode here so when when Zuko comes and asks them to let him join um Appa starts licking him now <laughs> this portion I was really kind of surprised I was like why is Appa licking him like what's the deal here and then I actually realized that <laughs> Zuko was the one who actually helped him you know from captivity and <clears throat> freed him so yeah that's why Appa was actually licking him it, it took me a while to actually realize what was happening <laughs> but yeah and <clears throat> okay so Toph here because Toph has not been with them for a long while and you know like as you, as, as you can see like um people's personal experience kind of very much uh, like accepting someone depends on people's personal experience in a big way for example we can see here that Katara was the one who was really not happy with Zuko joining them because of her personal experience Zuko actually kind of betrayed her trust once and not only that Zuko like you know like he as, as they said he tried to like, you know attack their village uh, in a way uh, like you know like, uh, like you know everything was like the whole fire nation grudge because Zuko is a fire nation person all the grudge against the fire nation kind of in a way falls on him as as if, if you remember in one of the previous episode where Katara said that whenever I think about the fire nation your face comes up because you're the only one I know so that thing another thing is like he took the necklace you know he almost like you know tried to kill Aang for so many times not kill but capture him so many times like so many things Katara had to go through because of Zuko that's why like you know because you know her own experience with Zuko is the worst she really wasn't able to accept him 
Now let's uh, uh, like you know uh, see like let's go with Saka now. Saka is not as you know harsh on Zuko as Katara because stuff that he had to go through about uh, because of Zuko was a lot lesser than Katara. For example, the thing about uh, them uh, attacking the village and all that that's the same with Katara. He has grudge for that on, on Zuko and also the, the whole thing with Aang as well. But Zuko never betrayed uh, <clears throat> Saka's trust because they didn't have any conversation at all. Like, there was no trust to betray at all. So because of because that thing is lacking, Saka was able to accept Zuko a lot better than Katara. Aang, Aang even though Aang had to go through so many things, you know, um, we have to know, realize one thing that since Katara, like here's the thing, um, Zuko attacked Aang, but Zuko never did attack Katara before, you know, like Zuko had never actually tried to kill Katara or do something to her. That's why, b because all the thing that uh, Zuko had done was towards Aang, Katara is so mad at uh, Zuko. But since this is Aang himself, you know, like he's able to accept that a lot better because it's him that he's talking like, you know, like I, I, uh, I don't know if I'm able to explain this properly, but it's not that his loved ones that he attacked, but it was himself that he attacked. So he's able to accept that a lot better than Katara because for Katara, it was Aang who is one of her loved ones that Zuko attacked, but not the other way around. Zuko never attacked uh, Katara. Like I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm able to explain this properly, but you know, like that's one thing. Another thing is, we know Zuko helped uh, Aang before, and Z Aang also knows that. That has made a huge impression on him. And how, you know, like, uh, <clears throat> Aang once thought that we might have been able to become friends if we did not, we, was, we were not inside a situation like this. We were not in a war. We might have been become, be able to become friends. Aang knows that he and Zuko are a lot similar in a lot of ways. <clears throat> and... A few other things as well, you know, like, um, for example, he needs a uh, five ending teacher and all that stuff. So because of all of these things, he is able to accept Zuko a lot more than Saka and Katara. Toph. Toph here is the one who is least related to Zuko. In a way, because Toph actually joined halfway through the series. And, you know, like he had... Like she had her usual run-ins with Zuko, but it was just bare minimum. Toph has, like, you know, Zuko has not directly threatened Toph anyway, or, like, you know, have not actually, like, done anything. Like, her, her involvement with Zuko was the least. <clears throat> That's why the grudge for, you know, like, Zuko was a lot less for Toph. And obviously another thing is that he she knows Iroh and you know the whole conversation with Iroh if you remember where Iroh says that I'm looking for my nephew and like you know like then Toph gets to know that Zuko is his nephew like that also probably is like a good impression on her because Toph is really fond of Iroh so knowing that Iroh is like you know like Zuko's uncle that probably gives her a lot more um, you know, ease to accept him into the team. And that's why Toph was the most accepting of Zuko. Like, this is what was happening, you know, like, personal experiences uh, are a very much a big factor towards these type of situations. And that's why, you know, Katara is the least accepting of Zuko because she has been the most affected by Zuko all this time. And Toph is the most accepting of Zuko because she is the least one affected by Zuko all this time. So that was basically it. That was the whole thing. And <clears throat> we'll see. I'm sure Zuko will be able to make amends and I'm sure everything will go fine. Now, here's the thing that actually kind of confused, not confused me, but I was a bit surprised. I kind of thought that the <laughs> combustion man would join us, you know, because Zuko is his employer or something. But then when he started attacking them, I realized that it's not about payment anymore. It's about his own grudge. Like, you know, like before he, he got flicked on his head by the 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 earth uh, the, the the stone or thing the thing that Toph used to actually stop him in the previous episode in one of the previous episodes 
So I think it's like a personal vendetta for him now. That's why he's just attacking them without even uh, listening to Zuko. Like Zuko's like, I'm, I'm going to give you more money. So just stop it. But he's like, no, I want my revenge. I think that was probably it. And I don't, I don't, I don't know why what happened after that. He just fell down, I think. And I'm not sure what happened after that. Like probably, and I doubt he died. So who knows? Maybe we'll see him again in the future, or maybe not. We don't know. But yeah, it kind of seems like this is the end of combustion, man. We probably won't get to see him again. Maybe uh, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, that was it. Okay, that was this episode. It's funny to see actually Zuko struggling <laughs> to make friends and. You know, like in the end, we see how Katara kind of threatened him. <laughs> As I said, like, you know, like Katara was the one who has been most affected by Zuko. So, yeah, we can't blame her for acting like this. It's just that Katara is, is not really happy with this whole thing. And she has to kind of accept this because there's no five ending teacher and there's not enough time. So... Yeah, she's she's so strict with Zuko because of that. So yeah, like as they say, you know, like like betraying someone's trust is the worst thing that you can do. Like that's one thing that you should never do. And Zuko kind of did that to Katara. So I don't blame her. So yeah, it'll probably take a lot of time, but hopefully they're able to become friends. You know, because <laughs> this type of a what do you call it? You know, charged uh, environment, you know, like tension filled environment. It's kind of weird because I'm not actually accustomed in this environment, especially towards, like, you know, with Ang's gang. Like, Ang's gang is like, um, like you know, Toph is like joking around, around. Saka is making sarcastic remarks. <laughs> Ang is acting like an idiot, and Qatar is the responsible one. That type of a group. And, like, you know, it's just like a fun light and happy environment all the time whenever we see them like you know it's such a happy thing so you know like the whole atmosphere being this type of a charged you know like atmosphere is will be kind of weird and i hope that it like you know zuko is able to become their friend quickly like hopefully this doesn't persist because yeah like like i i love like ang's crew to be like you know like happy laughing and lighthearted <laughs> so yeah hopefully zuko is able to become their friends quickly and katara's you know is able to again regain her trust on in zuko but yeah we'll see so that's it that is this episode this was um after the last airbender episode number uh, uh book three episode number 11 and 12 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another uh, two more episodes of after the last airbender book 3 until then goodbye and have a nice day